What's up everybody, Dean Ellis from Dartech again and we're going to go into uh, some more menu links. Okay, so uh, we'll click on new and select. Now in this one I'm going to do something slightly different, go a little bit out of order because I want to structure these uh, this module. I want to structure this module a little bit before I go too much further. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a system link. What I'm going to use is a text separator. So I'll click on the text separator, okay, and um, all the rest of this information I think we'll just leave as is. Okay, text separator is purely a piece of text that goes into a menu line. Um, there's no link to it, there's no anything to it, but you can you can use it to place submenus under. So it's almost like a category of menus that you can put into a, a line. So we'll just leave that and go save and close. Oh, actually, no, we need to put a title up there, don't we? So we'll put in uh, articles. We go save and close. Okay, and there it is there. Now what I want to do is I want to make these first two menus a sub-menu under this text separator here. Uh, and to do that, we just have to click on each of the articles. We then, in the parent item, okay, in the parent item drop down, we just click on articles. Right, this now becomes a child of the article's parent. Okay, once you've done that, save and close. Okay, and notice there's article the, the archived articles underneath the articles uh, link, and you can see the uh, little widgety thing there that shows you that it's stepped in one. So I'll do the same with category blog two. Remember, parent item under the articles, and save and close, and there we have it. So now we have the two menus under this title. So we go into the home page and refresh it. And notice now you have articles, so you can't click on it at all. There's no link to it. Um, but the two menus are now under the article submenus. Now this is important. Um, this is handy for when you when we actually turn this into a vertical menu. And I'll do that at a later stage. Um, you can actually set it up so that the um, articles drop down in like an accordion menu and have a bit of um, a few bells and whistles on this article. So we'll just set it up like that. That's how you do a text separator. That's what I use a text separator for. Now there is another one you can use to do the same thing. If we just click new and select. It's in the same system links, but it's called a menu heading. Okay, this will do the same thing. Tend not to use that too much. I mean, that's this is a fairly new one into Joomla. Text separator's been been here for ages and ages and ages. But uh, you can use menu heading as well does the same thing, not quite sure why you'd have two different ones. Um, I think you can put a link on this one if you want to. We'll have a look at that later on and see what it does. Alright, so our next, um, our next one we're going to go is a category list. So we'll click on that. Again, as for the category blog, we need to select a category. All right, and this time we'll choose, uh, let's choose category A. There's your link for that particular uh, menu item. It stays in all Juma menus. Uh, we're going to put this under arc uh, the articles. Um, and the rest can stay as it is. Remember, I've done all these uh, in the in the articles options, and you can check out my articles playlist to see how that works. Okay, and we'll just put a title in there and save and close. Okay, notice it's automatically gone under the articles. So let's go into the home page and refresh. All right, there's the category list. Let's click on it. Okay, no category, no articles in there. So let's just have a quick look at where our articles live. Level five. Okay, let's go to level five. So to change it, we just go back into menus. Our old Dreamland menus that we're working on, click in category list and change the category to level 5. Save and close. So when we click on the category list now, there's our level 5 category and there's all the articles in the level 5 category. Now notice it it's just displays the articles in a list rather than in a blog layout. Kind of handy if you want to use, this is, this is handy for um, archived articles if you wanted to do that way. Or if you have a lot of articles in a category that you want to display a lot on a page. So that's another way to do it. It's not a bad, not a bad layout. You can add different features in the table, uh, in the in the list, like authors and, and a number of different things. And I've explained all that in the articles options. Okay, that's how that one works. Uh, I think we've got time for one more. So let's go new, select, oh, create an article. Okay, this one don't need to have any um, selections or options in there. Um, we'll put it into the articles list, although. This is one of the ones that you don't have the public um, to see. So we're going to change this to a 
Oh, it's published. It's going to change this to, we'll make it a special. Now the special access is the super users or the administrators. You don't, this particular link, you don't want to share with the public or anyone that's registered to your site because this is, this one allows people to actually create articles and place them on your website from the front end. And that's another set of playlists in this tutorial that we'll get into later on down the track. So uh, that's all we need to do with that one. We go save and close. Oh, we need a, <laughs> need a title. Okay, save and close now. Okay, go into the uh, category list. Sorry, go into the home page. I'll change this so this menu is showing on everything. Ah, oh, it's not there. Why isn't it there? Okay, notice that it's not there. Oh, it doesn't show. And the reason it hasn't showed is because we've set the access to special. So what you need to do is log in. Now my username stuff in there because I have it automatically set up. I just click log in. And there, there it is there. Create an article. So when you click on it, a form appears with the WYSIWYG editor and the title and all the bits and pieces you need here to create an article and you do it directly from the from the front end of your website. Very handy, uh, very handy to have. Um, if all you want to do is add a quick article into the site, you don't need to go into the back end all the time. You can work straight out of the front end on most of these things. Okay, very handy. All right, and that's how the create an article works. I'll just log out of there. Okay, I'll get through one more, I think. Um, we'll go new. I'll go select before I add a title so I know what I'm doing. We're going to click on featured articles. Also, it's pretty self-explanatory. Go into the title. Okay, again, no settings we need to, no other settings we need to worry about. Um, it's in the articles sub-menu in the parent item. Uh, published and public and all. Save and close. Okay, if we go home, the home button on our main menu is a category blog of all our featured articles. Now if we go into featured articles here, this shouldn't change too much. Okay, there it is. Same same articles, maybe in a little, little slightly different order, but the featured articles is basically a blog layout of all your featured articles. Uh, pretty straightforward. That's it for this tutorial. I'll uh, um, call it. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit the like button, um, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.